Hey guys, what's up? It's Shinobi Ranger here and welcome back to another episode of our Total War 3 Kingdoms 1v1 unit comparison series videos and today we have GN Sword Guards led by a Sentinel versus G Infantry led by a Champion. The stats for the two units should be popping up on the screen in time now so you can pause and take a look and see how the two units size up against each other. We are playing this on Romance mode. So romance mode is where the characters in the game are depicted as larger than life heroes as portrayed in the novel The Romance of the Three Kingdoms. We are also playing this on ultra unit scale and on ultra unit scale all infantry units with the exception of a few units have 240 men per unit. So GM sword guards are and GM infantry are regular frontline troops. The GM sword guards wield the double-edged stabbing sword, thrusting sword, the GM. Whereas the G militia, G infantry use the dagger axe, the halberd. Um, it is a, it is considered a dagger. You could call it a halberd or, simple terms, it's a dagger axe pole arm. So since both units are regular infantry, G infantry, they wear skin lamellar armor. Whereas our sword guards, they wear heavy leather armor and they wield sturdy gold shields. Okay. So both units have this Caltrops ability and this is where the unit will throw these the spikes on the ground to impede enemy units as they approach them. So you step on it, the unit is going to take damage, some, some of the men may die due to it and the unit speed and mobility are reduced. Since it's the AI, whether the ability is useful or not, the AI is going to make use of it. So that's going to get a bit, a bit finicky. Uh, here, if the two units do not charge into each other, that's okay, it's not a problem. It should not be that one unit charges into the other and the other just gets smacked in the face from the charge and it will affect the res accuracy of the results. Okay, anyways, primary general, get back far away. You reject duel, secondary general, you're gonna draw the enemy general into a duel. Start, rush straight towards him. They want to go charge at their G infantry. Okay, and you will. Okay, now you run away there. Waiting okay. two seconds. As soon as the clock hits two seconds, we accept to do. Four, three, two, accept. Okay, you run away, just get lost. Okay, just oh, they're pretty close. Ah, oh, shock again. Damn it, they're fighting a few meters away. It's not fun. Okay. Okay, here we go. They threw their stupid. Run away from here. 
Okay, we stabilized. Okay, good. Let's double speed this. Okay, one third of the unit is dead. The enemy unit has lost one third of its men. close to half the unit Exactly half the unit, and we lost sixty six men. Yeah, so that means that's a little less, very minutely less than one is to two. So, for every two G infantrymen who were killed, we lost one Jan sword guard. Okay, minutely less compared less than two is to one. That is a good exchange, uh, although. The, okay, so the advantage here is, I don't know, sorry, since this unit is considered more strong, I mean stronger compared to the opposing unit, the general will hesitate in the duel. So that morale shock also plays a role here. But regardless, I mean two to one exchange against those poor arm infantry is pretty good. Those units did well; they fought well uh, compared to our regular frontline troops. So. Jian sword cards they cost 700, whereas the G infantry cost 600. So 100 point difference. That's okay. That's good. We won, and we won it with the ratio of two to one. That's good because bow arms they are not excellent killers. They are just very good defenders. They can defend very well. They will shred cavalry though. Cavalry cannot head down pretty soon. Charge a unit of cavalry. Directly into a unit of braced stationary spearmen, even if they are in formation, if they are not in formation, if they are not in formation, they just point their spears at the enemy and they just brace and hold down. They point the sharp pointy end at the cavalry. So the cavalry, they have, since all polar units have charge reflection versus mounted, they just, the momentum of the charge hits back against the, is reflected back onto the charging cavalry and they just get skewered and slaughtered. Okay, anyways, that's all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the video, if you like the video then leave a like. If you did not like the video, then leave a dislike. Share, comment and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new videos when they are released. Until the next video, this is Shinobi Ranger signing out. Bye!